In this scenario, numerous revenue models have prevailed in an open ecosystem world, with large digital platform companies taking on the central aggregator role. DPCs provide their technology and set the rules of the game, which funnels the variety available in the open metaverse ecosystem and allows DPCs to monetize their global content. Local content remains relevant but is supplied by partners. The DPC's search and recommendation functionalities provide orientation in the overwhelming content flood. But, on the other hand, this shapes a global mainstream media culture in line with DPC preferences. Data, analytics and AI are omnipresent and freely available to all market participants in this highly innovative environment. As media has become almost entirely digital, smart technologies can predict consumption and pave the way for targeted advertising. DPCs can fully leverage their massive capabilities in those areas, while traditional agencies have been displaced. Regulation is in place, but is unable to break the supremacy of the DPCs. Ad funding strongly benefits in this scenario. The extensive availability of data allows for highly targeted advertisements that fully meet media consumers' needs. More than that, some content is offered for free, in exchange for consumer data. Subscription models survive as flat fee access to premium DPC content, but the majority of payments are transaction-based. Alongside these, a new generation of blockchain-based technologies and crowdfunding platforms enable small local producers to monetize their content directly. The latter, in particular, ensure variety despite strong DPCs. DPCs differentiate themselves with exclusive content and sports rights. Local producers benefit from partnerships with the large platform providers, but are making themselves increasingly independent through direct customer and payment relationships. In this way, the dominant role of DPCs tends to come under pressure.